Hey everybody, happy holidays and welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the full moon of December 22nd, where we have the sun in the early degrees of Sagittarius and the moon directly across the way in the early degrees of Gemini. We also have a few bonus planets. Jupiter and Mercury are conjunct, not just anywhere, but at the heart of the scorpion, Antares. And Chiron, the wounded healer, and Mars are working their way together in the beginning degrees of Pisces, and they will attain that conjunction in about a week's time. With that data out of the way, let's sink back in and find out what the star beings wanted us to know for this full moon. When I dropped in to find out what the star beings wanted shared for this full moon, I found myself in the presence of a great big being and he was friendly and persistent and he wanted me to follow him so we did and we arrived at another place filled with trees and many other beings just like him and it feels like a jungle or some other natural crowded environment we threaded our way through the landscape to arrive at a clearing where there was one of these beings who was the king Suddenly, this king transformed from this very large being to a teensy little spider and jumped off the throne and scuttled under the underbrush, indicating that I should follow. I hesitated, I'll be honest, but I took a moment to assess that this was perfectly safe and right. So I surrendered and I become very, very small myself. And I walked with this being into the shadow into the darkness under the leaves and then from there we entered into an underground chamber that was clothed in red light and was warm we are in subterranean territory we are in connection to the living heat of our planet the same heat that powers volcanoes hot springs geysers. We pull in and wait. Within this warm subterranean territory, we warmed ourselves. We were half sleep, half dreaming as the world turns on its axis, as the wheel turns this corner, solstice. Solstice literally means sun stands, solstice, sun stands. At this time of year, the sun reaches its minimum of arc above the horizon. It reaches its minimum of time above the horizon, and then we'll begin to slowly grow, but we're not there yet. Now at solstice, sun stands still, and we stand still with it, pausing to feel the life-giving warmth that comes from above while recognizing the deep warmth that comes from below. These lights that warm us in the circle of the year are different, the light from above and the light from below. The outer light of the sun fluctuating through the circle of the year, while the underground light beats steady, always. Now surely the scientists amongst us will dispute that last statement. There's got to be some sort of fluctuation down there below too. But in this vision, I'm being shown the refuge of the inner warmth slumbering beneath the leaves. Stillness. A stillness that leaves an opening for the mystery. A stillness that acknowledges we are actually not in control. We are part of something much, much bigger. We are, if your ego must have it, an important part, a conscious part. But hopefully we can let go of that need and we pause as the sun 
pauses to attune to the wheel turning. What shifts within you, what changes within you because of this attunement is a mystery and actually not important to know. What is important is to simply participate. And when I cheat and look at the chart for this moon, I'm reminded again of Jupiter and Mercury, the heart of the Scorpion, and Chiron and Mars coming together in Pisces. I see potential for dying away, loss, shadow, impetuous, impulsive mistakes. Now do you see the advantage of being a part instead of being in control of the whole? If you do not, I will tell you. We are resourced and given places to pull into and wait. We are given instructions for how to ride the waves rather than being pulled under by their force. This moon, be still. Feel the inner warmth beneath you. Feel the sun's radiant warmth above you. Aho, happiest of solstice seasons to you, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the season bright. Happy solstice. Bye.